Take it easy, man. Hey nerds, Cass here with my first hotel vlog. And what is it, about six months now? Yeah, it's been about that long, hasn't it? Um, I mean, this was kind of a regular thing I did for the longest time when I had my last job. Um, when I was doing um, stuff for Google Maps, you know, I was traveling all over the place. So, you know, it was a fun little thing that I got to do for my channel that, you know, I didn't see. It really wasn't something other people did, I guess, because I was really the only one who had the opportunity to do so. But, you know, I mean, it was fun. And my job now doesn't require as much travel. We stay in Chicago, um, but occasionally we'll get a chance to travel. And this is the first time uh, since we um, <laughs> since we started that we had a chance to leave. And they have me currently actually in a home suite, something. It's 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 a slightly fancier Hilton. Like I used to always stay in Hampton Inns, which is also kind of like their business class. I think this is like a step above that. Like. Got a microwave, I actually got a little stove back there, a full-size fridge. There's a dishwasher. I have dishes. They gave us dishes. And like, it all, I mean, this is basically a one-bedroom apartment, just it doesn't have an actual oven. Like, if you had a convection oven in here, that's it. You know what I'm talking about, those little tabletop ovens you can get? You could live here. I mean, it'd be absurdly expensive, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, so this week I am in Dayton, Ohio. And oh, I'm sure some of you guys who are newer to my channel are probably not familiar with the format of my hotel vlogs. I usually just talk about some random stuff. Um, you know, before you uh, worry, I do got four Ultra Prism packs open. They're my first Ultra Prism packs that I get a chance to open, and I can't wait to get to that. But let's um, let's talk a little bit, and that's kind of what the point of these vlogs is. Um, but yeah. Anyways, so as you can see, I am dressed. I'm presenting um, female today, and I have been. I'm started ordering some more clothes so I have nicer stuff so I can start uh, presenting full-time and uh, I mean you might think well basically isn't that what you were I mean yes but it was like I was still wearing a lot of male clothes I was still hiding you guys see it because I don't I get uncomfortable with that and um, today was pretty bright for me I was away from all my friends I mean I had my co-workers with me but I was out and about and doing things um, without the you know my usual comfort people that I feel comfortable being out you know, fully dressed, <laughs> and it was great because I didn't get misgendered once. You know, that's kind of sucks sometimes, but I made sure just the little bit of effort that I took just to dress a little bit, shave a little better. I mean, it's still kind of hard because no matter what I do, I can't get rid of the shadow of the beard. But if I keep this on here, I can kind of distract people a bit. But my hands were so huge, <laughs> gross. But um. It worked and it's been great. I'm really surprised. I haven't had any problems at all, and um, you know, even using the restroom, which are this is always a nerve wracking experience. So. But um, yeah, that's it for now. So I don't know when the next time it is I'm gonna do this. So I'm not gonna say that this is my last hotel vlog because I said the last time, and then look what happened. You know. But um, yeah, I will try that whenever I come out. I'm gonna try and get one of these done. And um, also, I have another video I recorded yesterday. Today is Monday, so it was Sunday. I recorded a Raichu GX box opening, which I may not have up for this because I forgot to bring my camera with the recording on it. I'm trying to get one of my roommates to upload it to Google or something and send it to me. But um, if that, if you haven't already seen that, then it will be up probably sometime this weekend because I wasn't able to get the files, uh, even though I discussed this saying that this is coming up this week first, so I, if that's what happened, I apologize in advance. If everything is okay, well, just letting you know. But either way, I've been holding out. I am so excited to open these up. I went to the Walmart here in Dayton, right next to the Dayton Mall, and um, it was pretty interesting. Uh, they, unfortunately, it was kind of a mess. It kind of reminded me of the uh, wall card sections back home in Arkansas. They didn't really seem to take very good care of them. And, um, plus they didn't have really any, uh, Ultra Prism stuff. They didn't have any three-plaque blisters. They didn't have the single promo blisters or anything. They didn't have any Mr. Power boxes. But, like, I looked under some various stuff, and I found some loose single booster packs. And normally for this sort of thing, I would only do one or two packs. But because I haven't done this for a while, and I just want to open so bad, I grabbed the first four of them. I probably should have got the fifth one, but, you know, it is what it is. And they all have the 
Giratina on the front too. Well, the inner packs can be different, but hopefully these aren't weighed or anything like that because, I mean, it was such a mess. I really have a hard time believing that it was anything other than shoulder coming off through there. But, um, oh, well, my phone's going off. So, anyways, let me stop talking and I'm just going to get crap, crap, crap. Wow. I have something. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, just the other day, I was watching uh, my friend Jess over at Legendaries Unleashed. Hi, Jess, if you're watching this. Uh, she opened up a couple loose um, Ultra Prism Blizzards. I think she opened a few more than me. I think I want to say she opened up five of them. But, um,. She got two prism cards out of them. She got the oh I can't remember which one it was, but she got I know one of them, one of them I think was like some kind of psychic type. The other one was the Sogaleo uh, prism card, and that was the one she wanted, um, which is good. And I don't know which one I want. I haven't actually really seen much of this set, and that's intentional. I try to keep uh, I like the surprise of the new cards. I know for people who play a lot more than I do, we're a lot more competitive. Uh, you want to know in advance so you know what cards to look for, but, you know, I'm just, um, I'm going to have a little bit of variety in the packs here, actually. I think so far I've got one of, a, one of each, except for the Zeratina, or Giratina, but as a collector, I like to be surprised and see what I get, so after I get some open, I'll definitely check out the list, and, um, okay, so we got ourselves four packs. Uh, let's see, we got... A, <laughs> we got the Leapion pack. We got a Slogio. Um, that's actually not really Slogio, is it? That's the um, uh, Necrozoma Slogio. I can't remember what it's called right now. Anyways, we got two of those, and as well as we got the Lugnala uh, one. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have ourselves a Slogio sandwich here and put those in between. And we'll start with our first one. Anyways, um, by the way, guys, have you guys um, got anything good out of these sets so far? What have you pulled? I know that Cynthia is going for quite a bit of money right now, and that's going to drop. I think it was like $80. It's ridiculous right now, but as more of these, uh, more and more packs get open, more of them, more of them enter circulation, that's going to drop. But it's still going to be, it's still going to be the card to have. Like, it's kind of, I think it's basically the same as Prohost. It's like more, I think. Um, oh, man, I really like the art in this set. Anyway, so this is a green code card, but that's okay because we still get our prism in a green code card. So there we go. That is for you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you get. One, two, three, and four. Oh, the quality actually feels a little better. Like maybe maybe these are a little better than I don't know. It's hard to tell. They feel different though. Um, either way, I guess the energy game eh, electric. Oh nope. And that is grass. So let's start with an unidentified fossil. What exactly? Okay, um, anytime before you play, you may discard this card. I'm not sure what that goes with, though. Um, I'm sure it goes with something. I'm just not having it. Uh, uh, let's see, Shara. I'm just trying, trying to do this in a way that gets it on camera without being too uncomfortable. and. Gum shoes. It's nice to see that. Is that, is that it, it's a, well, it's an uncommon, uh, you know, just an uncommon Donald Trump. Sad. All right. Uh, Patrick, that's the one I saw on front that I really like the art of. That looks so cool. I love it. So the art in the set is actually really, really good. Some of my uh, favorite art so far in Sun and Moon. Uh, Skorupi. Young Goose. Oh, so we got the double Trump in this. Uh, <laughs> Thing. Uh, Sherabi. So we should have a reverse come up here. Hit love. Oh, that is such a cute card. Oh my god. Oh my god. So we're see our next card is oh I almost got excited. That's Heat Ram, but that is a reverse rare, so that is a hit in my book. And our rare is a Lowland Sand Slash. I saw the shine and almost thought it might be a prison card. That is okay. So we still got three more packs to go. I'm so excited, guys. Oh my god, why is there like some sticky, there is some seriously sticky stuff on here. Alright, so let's see if I can get this thing open. Come on. Alright, so we got another green code card, which makes me sad, because there might be a chance that these packs were weighed. Two, three, four, let's go with, you know, let's go with electric again. No fire, so let's see. 
Volkner. Cosme on that's actually a yeah, that's a reprint straight from um Sun and Moon base set, yeah. Pokemon fan club. There's actually a pretty cool full art of that one. Shinx. Carnivine. Murkrow. Magnemite. Ooh. Haven't seen one of you in a while. It's very nice. I like it. And let's see. Snover. And our reverse is a Piplup. Ooh, that is so cute. I really like that one. And our rare is a Heat Rotom. So, well, these are all regular rares. Since I don't have these are my first ones opening, I need them for my collection. So, you know, even if they aren't that that much, it's still something I get to add to my box of goodies. So, let's go with another one. Hopefully this isn't, um... <laughs> this doesn't, isn't feeling like it's dragging on. And another green code card. And yeah, I'm becoming, I think these might be weighed. But you know what, I don't actually really care that much. I, I'm really having fun finally opening Ultra Prison. It's just so exciting. So either way, let's, you know, we're gonna go with Electric. Oh my God, are you serious? Okay, so we're gonna go with uh, Fire Energy. Oh, okay, this is actually a hit. Cynthia, apparently these are actually, even the uncommon ones are actually pretty hard to pull. People are having a hard time getting hold of them. So, yeah, so I'm quite, quite happy with this. So that's a hit. Another Cosmium. I like how it's an uncommon in this set rather than a rare. That's much, much better. Uh, Bronzong. Eevee. Ah, it's so cute. I still like the other one better because it had the energy evolution. So to me, that's, uh, that's a little bit better. So. Let's see, Solandit, Turtwig, Riolu, oh, well, <laughs> pulled that a little too fast, so we got Riolu, Croagunk, uh, Turton here, and that's only an uncommon in this set, and the rare is a Garchomp, regular rare, nice, I actually kind of like the art on that one, I'm actually not really complaining, I mean, Again, yes, I want the good pools. We always want those epic pools, but you know, it is what it is. So let's see. Ugh. I realize this is not the most entertaining opening, but yeah, we got ourselves another green code card. This is ridiculous. Well, that's the kind of, the, that's the risks with loose packs. Well, you know, we're gonna try for that electricity again. See what we got. Oh, I just don't, I don't know when to quit. So, anyways, Darkness Energy, Grodel, a skateboard, a low and Doug Trio. Ooh, very cool card. Uh, wow, I can, I can see how that that could be a useful attack. Let's see, Lowland Diglett, hey. Hmm. Nice. Shinx. Yanma. Bronzor. Oh, a, hippo, a Hippodon, and that is a rare, so as a reverse rare, and our rare, ooh, is a Magirna, nice. I haven't, you haven't been around since Steam Siege, so it's nice to see you show up again, so that's pretty cool. So while we didn't get anything special, as far as our pools, we got two reverse, uh, yeah, two, what the heck? I'm just, I'm weird. All right, two reverse rares, and of course, the Cynthia, which is a very, very playable trainer, so. Um, I think this is actually going for more than the cost of a pack anyway, so either way, that's pretty cool, guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know it kind of ran out a little bit, the, you know, the hotel the vlog said. Hopefully I would have uh, put like a little timer thing on there, so just so you guys know um, when to skip to if you just want to see the pack openings. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you nerds in the next video.